I welcome you to Portrait. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to share with you humility. Humility. But before we do that, my friends all over the world, let's take our confession together. Today I am lifted. I will not fail. Jesus never fails. My eyes are on him from whom all blessings flow. I cock our fears in him. I'm blessed beyond man's destruction. I'm moving with the power of an ego. I will not stumble. My goals are assured in him. Or to his praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. In James 4, verse 6, James 4, verse 6, that he giveth more grace. Wherefore, he saith, God resisted the proud, but give, giveth grace unto the humble. But giveth grace unto the humble. All, all I have is given to me by God. There is nothing that you have or in your possession that is not given to you by God. If you have a building and you have, let's say, about seven rooms inside that building and you sleep in two rooms before daybreak, it means that <laughs> your, your head needs to be examined because you are getting mad. So, there is nothing that you want to do or you want to achieve that has not been done by any man before. So, there is nothing to be proud of. You say, let me show off so that they will know that I have arrived. There is nothing. Truly, truly, there is nothing. Why not humble yourself before God so that he can exalt you? Humble yourself before God. No matter the family you have, any other person also must have has it or whatsoever. Please, my friends, no matter where you find yourself, no matter how much God has blessed you, he blessed you for a reason. One of the major reasons why God gives people money or finances is for his kingdom to be expanded. Kingdom expansion. You expand this kingdom. You say, how are you going to expand this kingdom? Is it by building churches? No! Anyone that is naked, you clot him. Anyone that is hungry, you give him food to eat. Anyone that is in prison, you visit him in the prison. You are expanding his kingdom. That's exactly why God gave you money. So anything outside this is in error. You are using God's money in error. Humble yourself, my brothers. Don't go and be driving on the highway. That's your big motto then you want to ensure that everybody on the way leave the road because you are coming. No. Humble yourself. For you to go up is in the place of humility. Any man that must go up must first of all go down. You must first of all go below so that our God will bless you. I don't know what you are passing through. Maybe it's because you have been proud. Why not just humble yourself in these few moments, in these few days, in these few months and see what God will do for you. My prayer for you is that God will give you the spirit of humility. Humility that touches God's heart. Where he will release his blessing upon you, you will know, oh, this is, can only be God. Pray that prayer for you this day.
that his hand of lifting, his hand of victory, his hand of miracle will be upon you in Jesus' name. Take it now. Take!